Good afternoon, Doug Christie at Dury Farms at Leaven and Fife. Um, rambling on about mob grazing again. I have, by the way, changed my boxers and my socks since the last time I spoke to you, which was four days ago. It might not look like it, at least you can not smell it. Behind me is uh, about 30 fattening cattle, and that's the remainder of 60 originally. Um, 25, 30 have gone. 30 have gone already. So um, these have been grazed daily, they've been moved grazily, and they're selectively grazing. They're, they're skimming the tops of the grass off, taking the best, and then moving on. The cows will come back later to uh, mop up everything at the end of December or the beginning of January. And the, these went out, these were turned out at the beginning of April, and they've had rest periods. The grass has had rest periods of 20 days, then 36 days, then 60 days, and the next time it will be 80 to 100 days rest period on the grass. Um, the main reason for wanting to keep them outside is the machinery costs and building costs associated with putting them inside and the cost of the silage and the straw. That amounted on this farm two years ago, and they were not in for all that long before in the set stocking situation, but that amounted to um, more money was spent on the diesel for the cattle, just the diesel alone, than there was per hectare than on my arable operation. Um, and I'm severely wanting to cut that right back. Um, that's all today. And I think I've forgotten what I was going to say next. Thank you.